Alright guys, Kansas Digger. We're at uh, a new permission. I came and scouted this out last night and uh, was here for about an hour and a half and found uh, eight Wheaties and a 1919 Merc. Uh, I'll show you guys those at the roundup. It uh, just dug our first Wheatie of the day. It's a 1951. That's a newer one. Uh, the oldest one I found was a 1919, so I'm guessing this house might have been built then. Uh, but hopefully we can find something a little bit older. Uh, a lot of them are on edge and they're coming up really iffy signals, but we're getting them dug. We'll see you on the next one. Just got us another weedy. 1942. Uh, seems like on the uh, Omega 8000 that the the wheats uh, lock on pretty good at 82 and stay pretty solid. Uh, that mercury's jump from 82 to, or not the mercury's, I'm sorry, the the uh, memorials seem to jump from 82 to 84 uh, back and forth, but these seem to be locking on pretty good at, you know, about four inches deep. So we'll go to the next one. I switched to D2 mode. And just pulled another 56 weed out. Uh, I switched so that I could maybe hear the signal a little bit better. But uh, anyway, see you on the next one. Well, I didn't like how the five inch coil was going. Wasn't really finding much and too much small trash. It was pinpointing on. So I put the regular coil on and found my two oldest coins so far. 1918 Buffalo at this, so far at this house. Got yeah, it's really nice. It's in really nice shape. My goodness. I can't believe how nice shape that's in. And then we got us a 1909. Oh, if it only has its thing down there, I'm not going to scratch it up. I'm going to wash it off when we get home and we'll see if it's got the, the letters on it that we need. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, I literally just moved about five foot and got me a 1930D uh, wheat penny and 1938. Uh, there may be a mint mark. I don't know. I'm not going to clean it off. It's another Merc. So that's two Mercs in this yard already and a ton of wheats. I'm, I'm really glad I switched back to that. I, Maybe I should have done that to begin with. Uh, we start with the stock coil, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll get back to you. Okay, guys, here's the wrap up. We had 13 wheat pennies here from ranging from low, late 50s and most of them 50s and 40s, and we got the one 1930. Uh, so. That's the best day ever for wheat pennies. I got one more over here to show you, but a total of 14 wheat pennies in one day. That's pretty good, I think. And uh, well, it wasn't even a whole day. It was just three and a half hours worth. Uh, and here's the Mercs, uh, 1919, 1938. Neither one of them have a mint mark. Still in nice shape, I think. But anyway, uh, on to the next. Alrighty, we got the 1909 and the 1918 buff. The 1909 uh, Weedy, no VBS, no mark. It's kind of struck out there. And the 1918 uh, Buffalo, no mark. so lowest value on that one, but still a key date one. So pretty happy to find both of those. I can't, I can't believe I found them both in the, I believe I found these both in the same hole. Anyway, I found a wee penny and the buffalo in one hole and uh, one of the mercs and another wheat penny that 1930d and another hole together so i think the new permission is going to work out really well and uh the technetics 8000 is really really uh coming into its own <laughs> it's coming alive for me so hopefully we can uh find a whole lot more i, I got just from those finds I got uh, 
several more permissions and then I'm doing a ring recovery tomorrow so if, hopefully we find it and I can get that on some video get that on video for you guys anyway uh, this is Candace Digger over and out